I was just reading something here this morning that I want, I want to share with you. It's a, uh, it's a story that I read quite often. Uh, I preached and taught on it many times. And it's where Jesus heals blind Bartimaeus. And there's some really important things in these uh, few verses here that I want to read and just take a couple minutes here to expand on uh, to help build your faith. It says, Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timonus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called to him. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, talking to blind Bartimaeus, What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbana, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Just a couple things here about blind Bartimaeus. He, he knew the situation he was in. No doubt he had heard about Jesus. He had heard about the healings that Jesus had performed. So when he heard that Jesus was coming down the road, he knew he had one chance. That if he could just get to Jesus, he would be healed. And one of the important things here, it says in verse 50, and throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. He threw off the thing that identified him as a blind man. I want to ask you today, what is it that you are carrying with you that identifies you, that identifies the problems in your life? We need to throw those things off us. We need to get rid of the things that identify us uh, as failure, to identify us as being sick that identifies us as being poor. And, and when we do that, we walk by faith. What he, what blind Bartimaeus was doing right here, he was taking a step of faith. He threw off that garment that said, I'm a blind man. And he approached Jesus. And then when Jesus asked him, said, blind Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Blind Bartimaeus, he didn't, I don't believe he hesitated a bit. The blind man said to him, that I may receive my sight. My question to you this morning is, what is it you need Jesus to do for you? Is it healing? Is it finances? Put your marriage back together? Help you in your uh, job? Help you in your work, your school? It doesn't matter what it is. God's asking you the same question. What can I do for you? And so he expects us to take a step of faith. And so it says, go your way. Your faith has made you well. You see, God had mercy on blind Bartimaeus, but it was his faith that made him well. It was the faith that healed him. Faith will operate on revelation. That's where you need to read your word. When you read the word, that's what brings revelation knowledge. And then you can build your faith on that. You see, the last thing I want you to understand about this is that blind Bartimaeus he used what he had to secure what he lacked. Let me say that again. He used what he had, his faith, to secure what he lacked, his healing. Blind, blind Bartimaeus, I don't know how long he'd been that way, but no doubt he was sick and tired of being sick and tired. Are you sick and tired of being where you are today? There's an answer for you. God has a healing for you. God wants to prosper and bless you and keep you in good health. God bless you. I'll see you again later.